In this video, we'll get to know the first subdivision of the group A, tropical humid climate. And this video is going to be on tropical wet climate. So it is denoted by the capital letter A and small letter F. So capital letter A stands for the entire group, which is the tropical climate. And small letter F is the subdivision which represents wet climate. And together it makes the tropical wet climate. Naturally, by the name tropical, it's easy to figure out that this kind of climate is present only near the equator. But interesting part over here is the wetness associated with the tropical climate. In order to make a place wet, you need rain, right? That means we need to look for tropical places that receive a good amount of rainfall. And when I say rainfall, it has to rain every single month of the year. And sometimes it rains every single day as well. That is how the region will be wet throughout the year. Otherwise, what's the point in putting that place under the category of tropical wet climate? That means seasons don't change in tropical wet climate. So there's only one season. I'll quickly tell you the reason why it rains so much here is because of the regular warm temperature. You see, warm temperature is the reason behind evaporation. And that is what keeps the humidity high. And we know that after evaporation, it's condensation time. That means rainfall has to occur. Now on a world map, we will locate those places that have tropical wet climate. One is the Amazon Basin in South America. The other one is on the western side of the African continent. Another one is the islands of East Indies. Don't confuse it with West Indies. East Indies are the lands of South and Southeast Asia. They are basically the islands in and around Indonesia, Philippines, Malaysia and Singapore. In these places, the maximum temperature during daytime is around 30 degrees Celsius, while the minimum temperature is around 20 degrees Celsius. If you see, it's not very hot during the daytime because 30 degrees Celsius is manageable and at night it is not very cool. Again, 20 degrees Celsius at night is warm and good enough. And this temperature is same throughout the year. Because always remember, tropical wet climate is found along the equator and equator receive direct sunlight all throughout the year. Now, when it comes to vegetation, these regions have tropical evergreen forest. As we saw, these places receive so much of rain throughout the years and then it also receives a good amount of heat because it is in equator. If you see, rain and heat is a good combination for plants to grow and develop into rainforest. And that's how it gives rise to dense forests. Dense forests are forests which are always packed with trees. The top dense layer of these trees are called canopy. They block sunlight from reaching the forest floor. These forests are also home to many animals, small mammals and insects.